This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Founder of that tells viewers to give Trump a chance. President-elect Donald Trump spent the past weekend at his golf resort in Bedminster, New Jersey, where he hosted numerous guests from politics and business to seek their counsel on various issues and to fill positions in his administration. One of those guests was successful black businessman Robert Johnson, co-founder of Black Entertainment Television, who met with Trump Sunday and reportedly had a fruitful discussion regarding economic matters and the black community in America, according to NBC News. I've known him for a number of years, and he knew who I was. He's attended bet events in the past and we both have homes in Florida," Johnson explained, adding that the meeting had been arranged by an unnamed mutual friend. I thought I would meet to see if there's common ground with someone most in the black community might call an enemy, it was clearly based on the respect two businessmen would give each other. I had very positive dialogue with President-elect Trump," Johnson stated. After making it clear that he was not interested in a government position but rather merely wanted to share his insight, Johnson addressed Trump's repeated refrain toward black voters on the campaign trail, where he asked what do you have to lose? Johnson suggested that Trump instead tell us what we have to gain, address our aspirations. And, Trump, agreed with that. In an interview with CNBC, Johnson explained that he had spoken with Trump largely about economic issues that affect the black community and suggested that his fellow black Americans give Trump the benefit of the doubt, according to Real Clear Politics. Trump is a business guy, and I think he's going to tilt towards finding a way to use fiscal policy to move the economy forward, he said. Let's give him a shot. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt, see if we can find common ground. According to Fox News, Johnson also called on his fellow black Americans to take a more neutral stance toward Trump with a wait-and-see attitude instead of remaining staunchly in opposition to him. Congressman Bill Clay of Missouri said when the Congressional Black Caucus was founded that black Americans should have no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, just permanent interests. With the Trump administration, that's the philosophy we should take and we should not lock ourselves in one part or the other, Johnson argued. This is great, as a common rational voice is sorely needed in this tense and overwrought time of a polarized country beset by overblown hyperbole and rhetoric that doesn't do any good and only further divides. Hopefully Johnson's words will have an effect and some of Trump's opponents will indeed calm down and take a wait-and-see attitude toward the incoming Trump administration. If things go as planned, they could be in for a pleasant surprise. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter to spread the word that that founder Robert Johnson is asking his fellow black Americans to give him a shot at making things better for them. What do you think of what Robert Johnson had to say following his meeting with Trump? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.